Hello dear learners myself Alam Khan from accounting and finance department today i'm here to teach you a very good and very important topic called goodwill valuation of goodwill now first of all we need to understand what is goodwill so it's a reputation or image of the company in the minds of the stakeholders such as customers suppliers employees it is also goodwill is the estimated value of the reputation of an enterprise a firm earn goodwill through its hard work basically everyone must have goodwill because it is like your image in the minds of the stakeholders next uh, let's talk about features uh, it is an intangible asset which is shown under the asset part it is not a fictitious asset let me tell you because it has some realizable value it is difficult to ascertain the exact value of goodwill uh, it enhances the present as well as the future earning capacity of business again we'll uh, continue it helps in earning the super normal profits against the normal profits it is a basis for winning customer trust and faith which is very very important to remain in the market positive goodwill not only facilitates a firm to win customers trust but also helps the company to excel over its competitors now there are two types of goodwill basically uh, number one is purchase goodwill now what is purchase goodwill when one company takes another company or acquires another company uh, then they have to pay some purchase consideration and that is called as purchase goodwill now purchase goodwill will comes around when business concern is purchased for an amount above the fair value of the separate acquired net asset they are the only types of goodwill which can be recognized on companies account this is uh, first that is purchase goodwill second uh, there is inherent goodwill now what is inherent goodwill between the firm inherent goodwill is the opposite of purchased goodwill and represent the value of business more than the fair value of its separable net asset this type of goodwill is uh, internally generated uh, like admission of partner retirement of partner such and arises over time due to reputation now we'll discuss factors which affects the goodwill there are so many factors and very important factors first factor is location of business uh, every business must have good location like market location they will uh, to earn better goodwill in the minds of the stakeholders second there is quality of goods and service a uh, company must produce a uh, quality goods and must provide some quality services to earn better goodwill uh, in the market uh, efficiency of management this is also depends on the uh, management's efficiency and then uh, there has to be some business risk capability uh, in the business a uh, nature of business is also required for goodwills because there are two types of basically a business uh, number one manufactured or non manufactured business uh, then next is favorable contracts possession of trademark and patents and last but not the least is capital capital is also required for a goodwill it depends you are uh, investing how much money into the business next we'll learn about the methods uh, there are basically six method to calculate goodwill first method is years purchase of average profit in this method we generally calculate average profit now how to calculate average profit it is very simple if there are 5 years profit given we have to sum of that means add all the profits and divided by 5 you will get average profit then multiply by years of purchase that is 2 2 years 4 years 5 years so that is years of purchase of average method next years purchase of weighted average method this is similar like average uh, average method but here we have to take some weights such as 1 2 3 4 then we have to multiply with the profits and then we have to take average and multiply by, uh, with year of purchase next is super profit this is very very important student uh, because in super profit there are basically five steps uh, given number 1 we have to calculate uh, average profit number 2 we have to calculate capital employed number 3 we have to calculate normal profit number 4 we have to calculate super profit which is the difference of normal and uh, average profit and then last number 5 we have to multiply the super profit 
with the years of purchase next we have annuity method annuity method is a uh, extension of super profit method basically uh, the four steps are similar like super profit method in last step number 5 we have to multiply super profit by the annuity factor given then there is capitalization method now capitalization method are divided into two part capitalization method uh, of super uh, super profit and capitalization method of fmp that is future maintainable uh, profit and the last one is sliding scale method thank you